first case we have on our hands involves a car thief that is stealing cars all over Brooklyn. We have three suspects, the first of which is... Oh my god, Trudy Judy! The second suspect is... Doug Judy! And our last suspect... Say what's up, Dallas! What's up? Is Dallas. So we have our suspects, Trudy, Dallas, and Doug. Because we have three suspects, that gives us eight possible situations. The first thing we know, or the first premise, is that at least one of them is guilty. So, we eliminate all situations in which none of them is guilty. The next thing we know, the second premise, is that if Trudy is guilty, then Dallas is guilty as well. So, we eliminate all possibilities in which Trudy is guilty, but Dallas is not. We also know that the same goes the other way around. If Dallas is guilty, then Trudy is guilty as well. So, we eliminate all possibilities in which Dallas is guilty, but Trudy is innocent. Finally, we also know that if Trudy is innocent, then Doug is also innocent. So, we eliminate all possibilities in which Trudy is innocent, but Doug is guilty. We are now left with two possible situations. From this, we can conclude that Trudy is guilty. Trudy, Judy! Where are you, Trudy? In the wind, Dougie. We can also conclude that Dallas is guilty. Say what's up, Dallas. What's up? But we can't say anything about Doug, as he might be guilty or innocent. On to the next case. Now! Is he alive? Mr. Body. Stand back! Come here! Let me see. He's dead! What? Oh, who had the gun? I did. Then you shot him. I didn't. Well, you had the gun. If you didn't shoot him, who did? Indeed. Who killed this man? Again, we have three suspects. May I present Professor Plum and Miss Scarlet? And this is Mrs. Peacock. So, we have our suspects Plum, Scarlet, and Peacock. Again, because we have three suspects, this gives us eight possible situations. The first thing we know is that at least one of them is guilty. We also know that not all of them are guilty. We also know that if Plum is guilty, Scarlet is guilty as well. So, we eliminate all situations in which Plum is guilty, but Scarlet is innocent. Lastly, we know that if Peacock is innocent, then Scarlet is innocent as well. So, we eliminate all situations in which Peacock is innocent, but Scarlet is guilty. We are now left with two possible situations. From this, we can conclude that Plum is innocent and that Peacock is guilty, but we can't say anything about Scarlet, as she might be innocent or guilty. <gasps> On to the last case. A young girl named Teresa Banks has died. Again, we have three suspects. Our first suspect is Philip, who used to be an FBI agent before he suddenly and mysteriously disappeared. Our second suspect is Teresa's boss from the cafe she worked at. Her name is Irene. Our last suspect is Bob, who we first see when he is hiding in a young girl's room. So we have our suspects Philip, Irene and Bob. Three suspects again provide us with eight possible situations. We happen to know that at least two of them are guilty, which means we can eliminate all possibilities in which none or just one of them is guilty. We also know that not all of them are guilty, so we can eliminate that situation as well. Lastly, we know that if Irene is guilty, then Philip is innocent. So we eliminate the option in which Irene is guilty, but Philip is also guilty. 
we are now left with two possible situations. From this, we can only conclude that Bob is guilty. Surprise, surprise. Mm -hmm.